Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines here in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, and Jackie here from Copenhagen, Denmark. So uh, today we are taking a step back in time. We're gonna. Um, I messed up when we were recording the uh, the Blue Stacks Dragon Click, and uh, when that whole process, which was a really, I hope you watched the podcast because it was a really good example of troubleshooting. Unfortunately. I had paused it because we were having some troubles, and when I started recording again, um, I forget exactly what happened, but I didn't get the actual solution. So let me let me switch the view here, um, and Jackie is going to walk us through now using BlueStacks with the actual final solution. Yeah, so what we figured out was that we kept researching this drag and drop command, and we kept finding references to it, but apparently we can't use drag and drop. So, and we had a few other issues with figuring out uh, exactly how to make the run command work correctly and stuff like that. But uh, we ended up with something that we recently tested as working. And that's what I'm trying to show you just now. So what we have is we have the uh, blue stacks uh, over here trying to click it so and i've loaded the candy crush jelly uh, game and we're still in the tutorial part of it um, so what we will be trying to do is we'll be swiping instead of dragging and dropping uh, this orange one to that blue one's space and this is the command for that you have the blue stacks ad data bridge pre-made ready and we're using the shell input swipe command. And the swipe command takes five parameters, but um, the last parameter is the time frame it does the swipe in. So how quickly. And if you don't put it in, it will just default uh, to a setting I don't remember. But if you want it to like control it taking 200 milliseconds, you could put that in there, but it's not needed for this and then we figure out that you need to set the working directory at least in this case you don't always need to do that when using the android data page but with the blue stacks example here we need to do that so we set the working directory as the blue stacks directory and then we actually hide the command prompt that actually comes up actually can i interrupt you just for one second here because i was looking at this going how do we not on the far left have the path to the HD ADB EXE file? Because I'm pretty sure that's not in my system path. And then I realized, is that because we're setting the working directory? Yeah, okay. exactly. That is. So the, the script will go here and look for that first. So it will use the working directory to look for the Android data bridge. We could just as well copy this part over uh, and, and run it like that. But that would then be using the working directory where we have stored the script file. We could keep both. Uh, that would not impact this. The only important part is that we're using this one over the working directory. And we can keep the, keep the full path if we want to. But because we're setting the working directory, we can cut this part away. Yeah, I didn't realize Just, you could do that. Cool. Yeah, less, ta less typing if, if that's an issue. So uh, I have some coordinates here, but those are probably not the ones we have over in BlueStacks. So we'll use this uh, debugging setting we have up here to actually figure out what the coordinates are on the device. So we'll measure by holding and clicking says 700 by 150 or thereabouts. I know that oh, the this, this small numbers didn't add up completely, but um, did I say 750, I think? And, and 150? I thought you said did, 700 did, and 150, but I could be wrong. I, I might have said that. So change it to that. And because we're doing it horizontally, um, this one will increase to 800 and, and this, uh, the Y axis will, will be kept, but let's check it. So 
I'll click here and check. That says 800 and 150. So you you were correct, Joe, with the 700. So that's it. You say that, run it. We have made this hotkey here, control T, which um, you, Joe, will mm -hmm. click in a moment. So if you try and click that now. I hit it. There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. So that was it. That actually <laughs> made that swipe happen. So shell input swipe and the coordinates needed for the swipe. So we could do it one more time. Let's say we wanted to move this one to up here. What we'll do is we'll grab the coordinates. Here it's 700 and 350. So 700, 350. And because we are moving in the other axis now, I'll reset that to 700 and we're moving up, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. So, and we know that there's about a hundred pixels between them. So I'll just set that like that, save, run, and we'll look at blue stacks while you, Joe, yep. again, there we go. Uh, click, yeah. Did it. There it goes. And it did it. So, now, yeah. let me ask you a couple questions here, Jackie. Um, yeah. You you just wanted people to see what was going on. That's why you were activating blue stacks before we did it, right? Because it, it doesn't need to be activated. Yeah, let's say we wanted to move this. Let's say this one here. It says about 900, 900 thereabouts, 250 thereabouts. And, and I wanted to move it over here to, to the 800, 264 thingy. I actually made a move there, but it didn't matter. Um, but it made me forget the coordinates. So mm -hmm. 900 and 250. Okay. So from, from 900 to 250, like so. And this one will still be 900. No, it, that one will actually be 800. And this one will stay at 250. So I'll save and click uh, run. And, and I'll stay here. And you'll click the control uh, T, Joe. All right, I hit it. And in a moment, we'll expect blue stacks to have actually made the move. Let's go and check. And it did. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see now, but it actually did make the yeah. move. I should have used um, the screen clipping before. To, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. So you can see the line there of where it actually made the move. So and it did and, happen. And the other one with the ADB bridge is there is, I think you said like about a second delay just because it's spinning up a server or something. Yeah. Every time uh, it's, it's one of the few down, um, what cons, what, what, what do we call that? Negatives yeah. of using the Android data bridge is that Every time you send a command to the shell to do input, uh, what uh, the Android OS is doing is it will start the entire um, Java interpreter and then it will do that input um, or swipe or tab or whatever. But because Java is such a big thing as it is, it takes some time. Let's say it takes a few hundred milliseconds up to maybe half a second or something like that. And then it performs the command and then you see it on screen. And that's why it can take maybe up to a second or so before you and then you see the action happen. And then when the action has happened, it will shut down the Java again. And then the last one is uh, with BlueStacks. I just don't remember. Let me, let me bring it up here. Is it, yeah, if it was minimized, would it still run or? I what? haven't tested with minimized, but you can try. Here, let's, let's do we this don't, one. We quickly. don't have, we can. There we go. So is now. Is that one where we can make a move that makes sense? No. <laughs> We so, do one so of these. if you take the other one, 
No. No? Okay. Clearly, so I don't play the game. If you take uh, the first one, <laughs> top one to the left there, yeah, take that one, and we'll make the move with the yellow one into the blue one. All right, so I'll take the coordinates of this one. Apparently, I can't click it. Oh, there. So it's 800, 250, right? So we put in 800, keep the 250. We want to do it uh, sidewise, so we'll reduce this to 700. And uh, if you, Joe, then, um, no, let me just save. I know I don't need to always save and stuff, but hey, just for good measure. If we then take blue stacks and we minimize it, it's just a test. I don't know if it will work. Um, and you then send. Yep. We expect it to have been sent. And as you can see, it did it. Yeah, cool. So because the command is sent to the Android OS mm -hmm. and not to the graphics. Right. So even though Windows ain't rendering the right. graphics, because it's not doing that with yeah. minimized Windows, the yeah. graphics still exists in the virtual machine that this Android device here is. So sending a specific set of commands to the Android OS will still make it happen, even though the screen ain't visible. So this gets yeah. back to it. It's kind of like the whole control clicking stuff in that it's pretty awesome because you could be using your computer doing stuff. And even if it's minimized, it would still be running in the background doing. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. You have other issues with grabbing uh, actually what's on screen and stuff like that. But Again, you can also use the Android Data Bridge to get um, imagery of what's on screen. Again, because you're using the Android Data Bridge, you will have that one second delay. So every time you need an image from the screen, it will take a second for you to have it. And then you will send a command from that image data. Uh, that will take a say. So every action mm -hmm. will take two seconds or more to, to actually do, right? So so it depends on your speed need. Right. Cool. Well, awesome, mm -hmm. man. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad we were able to actually solve this and show it in a nice, succinct way. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, great, Joe. All right, man. Thank you so much. We'll Absolutely. Talk to you next week. Yeah, bye.